Good morning, my name is Al Wallace. I'm your academic advisor, and this is a short tutorial on how the academic plan for the accounting track works. So let's take a look at it. This plan is an Excel spreadsheet, which we can mail, email back and forth, and I'll set something up for you, and the first thing we'll do is put your name up here at the top, and then your uh, student ID, and then you tell me what your life goal is, or something you'd like to try to do in terms of your working life that I can put up here. Or you can put it up either way. Uh, the courses we're going to take are going to be based on uh, three sections of the plan. The first one's the general education section and we're going to be looking at this second column here where it says AAS accounting and that should say track instead of option and then we're going to take uh, each of these items that have an X bomb and those are required classes in each of these sections. So it looks like every every class in this uh, general education uh, section is going to be required. So well, you're going to need to take uh, uh, English 101, 102, oral communications, some type of oral communications course, an economics course, a math course, either a heritage, which is history, humanities, or a foreign language course, a science course, and a computer course. And once we've either set these up or you've taken them, say, in the past, we're going to put when you've taken them or when you should be taking them in this column here which is semester scheduled. Now any uh, course or type of course that has a yellow block that means that that uh, has several options, several different courses you could take and the way to figure out or find out what those for example different types of either oral communications or economics classes or math courses that you could take that would count you, you need to, uh, uh, I'll show you how this works and, and on these yellow uh, blocks. So let's go to the next section here. I have pulled down the yellow block or uh, down arrow key for uh, the math section. And the way to pull this or to make this appear and, and be able to pull it down is you want to hover your mouse somewhere in the bottom right hand corner, either right on the inside or right on the outside of this block or any of these blocks <clears throat> and when you do that and you click on it a couple times you'll see a little down arrow key appear and once you see the down arrow key appear you can click on it and then you'll see a list of courses that are courses that are approved for that particular type of course uh, and then you can scroll up and down and you can pick one and when you click it it shows up inside this yellow block now let me say that if you think you might transfer to a four-year school, then I would strongly suggest that you take a math class that will transfer. And for example, the math class that is the most common class that transfers is MAT 150 or College Algebra. So you want to try to make sure that's the one class that you take, if you can, if you think you're going to transfer, and put in this math section. Now let's go on. Now, uh, some basic academic plan rules. No two-for-ones. For example, a course can't be used in two areas of the plan. You can't, say, take a, a class that, and try to fit it in two spots on the plan. Also, if you take the same course twice, it can only be used one time on the plan. And then finally, you can transfer courses in from other colleges if they're approved by the OCTC registrar, and that happens by taking and getting an official transcript sent from your, your old school to our registrar and they will then look at it and let you know what has been approved and how it transfers in on this plan. Now, very important, if you change majors, tell your advisor immediately, that's me, so that uh, <clears throat> we can make the proper changes on our end. And also, second step is to make sure the change is made in PeopleSoft as soon as possible. So you want to check with the Start Center to see what procedures are involved in that. But uh, because the whole point of this is you don't want to take any classes when you change majors. You don't want to take any classes that you don't need to be taking, so be wasting your time. Uh, now let's go back to the plan. The program part of the plan, we're going to look at this second column, and we're going to take whatever classes are going to fit on uh, that, it is, that are required by looking over here to see if there's an X by it. So under the uh, accounting option or the accounting track, you need to take, let's say it looks like there's five at the top and several, five or six looks like at the bottom here. So we're going to look in at uh, 
160 history, uh, inter excuse me, 160 introduction to business, uh, the, which is the first class you'll take, and then BAS 250, which is Employee Bill Only Seminar. That's the very last class you'll take in the very last semester. And then once you've taken this um, introduction to business, then that is the prerequisite for these three classes, introduction to law, uh, business law, <coughs> principles of marketing, principles of management. And now you've gotten these five completed. Let's go down here and see what else we've got left. We've got three classes. Looks like financial accounting one, ACC 201, ACC 202, which is managerial accounting, and some type of higher level accounting, excuse me, a computer class, which would be, in this case, uh, CIT. This, this is wrong. This should be CIT. They, they they've changed the prefix to CIT 130. Uh, also, you're going to need to take, uh, looks like, Accounting Systems, which is ACT 279, uh, ACT 281, which is Individual Taxation, and ACT 286, which is Advanced Financial Accounting. So once we've completed all these classes in this second column here, uh, you're ready to go to the third block. Third block uh, is the Technical Electives. And normally the Technical Electives, like I said, I, I, I usually uh, have and there's six class there's six hours which means there's two classes normally I would ask a student to take uh, personal finance and payroll accounting that's the two I would suggest they take since they're really pretty closely related to accounting anyway and uh, I'll show you how the, the what I would do is a suggested list of classes but once once we've got uh, the general education classes completed at the very top the program classes and then these technical electives then the next step, the last step, basically would be to um, to get your signature and date and my signature and date. And my signature will come when I have had a chance to re look over everything you've taken and make sure you've got it all completed and then you're ready to graduate. All right, but let me show you what I would suggest to you is a suggested list of classes to take under this accounting track. So I would suggest to you in the first year to take the following. This is just a suggestion. But uh, you could take, for example, Introduction to Business, uh, some type of computer class. It could be OST 105 or CIT 105. Again, if it has a star by it, that means that other courses could be fulfilled to make this requirement. And you need to look at the catalog or uh, look at something <clears throat> online to see what other classes, what other computer class might work there. Also, English 101, some type of history class. Uh, and again, if the star is by it, that means some other class could be taken. Also, Math 105, or like I said earlier, if you think you're going to transfer, possibly transfer, then you might want to take Math 150. Second semester, first year, uh, take Principles of Marketing, uh, some type of second computer class, English 102, Personal Finance, and some type of science class. Here I've got Human Ecology, which is BIO 120. Now let's go to the second year. Second year suggested classes would be Accounting 201, Financial Accounting, Principles of Management, Principles of uh, Marketing, excuse me, of Microeconomics, uh, let's see, Introduction to Financial Management, BAS 212, COM 252, or some students take uh, COM 181, which is basic public speaking. Either one of those two would work. Then uh, the last semester, uh, 202 Accounting, Computerized Accounting Systems, which is ACT 279, ACT 281, Individual Taxation, ACT 286, Financial Accounting Topics. Uh, again, this last class, which is Business Employability Seminar and Introduction to Business Law. Uh, these are just suggestions, but they would work pretty well for you most of the time if you're going to be a full-time student. Then the last step, once you've got my signature and your signature, we got it all approved. Last step is to go to the uh, OCTC Registrar's Office, which is in the Campus Center on the main campus, and you're done. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you to get you through this academic plan.